The first step of our assembly will be to attach the carbon rod to the Depron foam fuselage. We want 25 mm overhang on the front and 10 mm spacing at the rear. That's measured from the hinge line of the rudder there. We're going to glue the carbon rod on and to do that we're going to get a little bit of help from the hinge tape. So we take the hinge tape and cut some small strips and using your hobby knife you can pick up and apply the strips. By taping the carbon rod onto the Depron fuselage we'll hold it in place and, and that'll make it easier to apply the CA glue. We put one piece of tape at the front and one more at the rear. If you like, you could put a third piece at the middle. And the purpose of this is just to hold the carbon rod onto the foam before you apply the CA glue. So get some foam safe CA glue. Sometimes it's called odorless CA glue. And uh, with an applicator like this dipper, we uh, touch the glue to the joint between the carbon rod and the foam fuselage. You can use thin or medium CA. Both can work. After you've applied the CA glue, you can set this piece aside to dry. Or if you like, you can use some kicker, which is accelerator, and it hardens the CA glue in about five seconds. Next, we're going to prepare the hinge lines of the rudder and the elevator. You can cut off the rudder and then make a bevel cut using a straight edge. This bevel cut allows the hinge to move nicely in both directions. We'll use more hinge tape. This time we want to cut the hinge tape at 3 mm width. We apply two pieces of hinge tape on the rudder and as you can see the bevel cuts allow motion in both directions. The control horns fit into the slots that have been pre-cut by laser and we want to use foam safe CA glue to hold this in place as well. For the elevator it's much the same procedure. In this video we have been using a straight edge and a hobby knife to cut the 45 degree angle bevels but you can also use sandpaper, just sand the edges that meet at the hinge line and you'd have the exact same effect. Apply the hinge tape on the opposite side of the bevel cuts and that will give you a good working hinge. And once again you can see how the bevel allows motion in both directions. For the elevator it's good to have the bevel cuts made on the bottom side 